Well, a simple note can mean a lot when sent to a service member on the other side of the world. A group of local elementary school students spent part of their day making cards for the Creme Cares Treats to Troops campaign. And Creme 2's Laura Papetti has the story and how you can get involved. Behind the organized chaos, it's a cat. You'll see a plan coming together. I'm trying to draw a Christmas tree. I'm not very good at drawing a Christmas tree. It brings a lot of joy to me just walking around and seeing what they're doing. So I can't imagine the person on the other end of that once they open up their box. Kirsten Lyons volunteers at Woodridge Elementary with teacher Stacy Reich. Nice job. That looks beautiful. We're neighbors and friends. And around this time each year, oh, that's coming out so well. They bring their friendship to the classroom to support Creme Care's treats to troops. My neighbor Kirsten, she lost her son in Afghanistan. My class that year happened to create some. Uh, posters for her for Memorial Day and then um, we just started getting to know each other and that's kind of how this all began. The Treats to Troops effort ensures that men and women deployed from Fairchild Air Force Base this holiday season get a care package sent to them. They celebrate the holidays without um, their family so if we do these cards um, it thanks them and makes them feel happiness. It means a lot to me because when my son was deployed, he got a box from Treats to Troops. I know what that meant to him and to know that service members now will receive those same boxes and some beautiful cards from some great kids. The simplest words and I'm yelling, Good year. send a strong message. If we did not have Army, Navy, Marines and all of that, we would probably not be walking on this earth. Thank you. The cards will be put into Treats to Troops boxes, and this year we hope to send between 300 and 400 care packages. To fill those boxes, Creme Cares is asking people to donate cards and treats, and we'll take all the beautiful chaos. Did you want to put your name on it at all or no? And wrap it with a bow, sending love to people all around the world so they can feel close to home. So Washington Trust Bank branches are accepting those cards and treats, and they are actually extending the deadline through this Friday. So all of the branches have boxes right there in the bank lobbies, and they're open during regular business hours. Anytime you can drop things off. You can also make a cash or a check donation to Treats to Troops while you're there at the bank.